It's Fluency MC. Have a party, have fun, have a cold, have a problem. Have good weather, have a get together. Have a test, have trouble, have friends, have plans. Have a good time. You have it in. Let's have a party and have fun. We'll have a blast. You'll have good memories of Kalo class. You can have a problem that doesn't last. Like when you have a cold, but get over it fast. My name is Jason Arlevin. Uh, most people call me Jace, uh, especially uh, other teachers and students. And I also use the name Fluency MC for the music I write and perform uh, to teach different subjects, uh, especially English as a foreign language. I'm here with the English Specialist Program, and um, it's a two week program full of workshops with, with teachers and uh, classes with students. And uh, it's very exciting because we've been planning it a long time. But uh, as exciting as as excited as I was, I, I hadn't prepared myself for the really warm welcome I've gotten from uh, Tunisian people and uh, the great response and uh, the workshops and the classes. Just amazing to have this opportunity to uh, connect uh, closely with teachers and students in Tunisia. So, uh, I don't see it as uh, let's throw out all of the old and bring in only these new concepts, but let's take a really hard look at what the world's like today, what we need English for, uh, and what, uh, especially, uh, what engages students so they're motivated, confident, uh, really ready to learn, because they are eager to learn. So we want to tap into that. Um, we don't want to uh, inhibit that. Uh, so I think uh, preparing teachers in this way, supporting teachers in this way is, is huge. And I think uh, as far as learners, what we need to do, um, besides what I just said about helping them, uh, we need to really recognize uh, their learning styles, you know, what they bring to the classroom, their situations, whether it's uh, cultural, uh, you know, you know, family's resources, where they live. I mean, all these factors in how people learn, uh, if we're going to, and we will, uh, use these new materials uh, as well as old to engage them. These are not materials that we can just, you know, push on everybody in exactly the same way. We really need to understand who our learners are. My materials, they're not meant to be a system that replaces another system or even any a method. I would call it an approach and especially uh, an approach to materials design that uh, then teachers could use to build on and do other things with it in the classroom. Uh, I was in Morocco last year, so coming here, you know, the experience of being in North Africa is not totally new, so I'm able to, I think, you know, connect more with people. Before I was just kind of, wow, this is so different or something. So, so that's one thing. Um, also, uh, because of technology, and let's get right to the heart of it, Facebook, with uh, English teachers and learners communicating, you know, I'd met, uh, through Facebook and, and develop relationships, especially uh, with one particular teacher in the Sabah. Um, she and I really built the page I have on Facebook. So through her, as a, she's a Tunisian teacher, uh, I met other Tunisian teachers and students. Uh, so coming here was um, was uh, more than a welcome. It was almost like a reunion of sorts. So uh, you know, I'm I'm always I'm always excited by you know whatever uh, young people are with if uh, as a teacher, uh, but. Uh, People here are, are, yeah, very, I would say very smart, that's my impression, uh, very uh, open-minded and, and interested in uh, learning things in different ways, on different levels, and so as you can imagine, for, for a teacher who's <laughs> developing materials like that, uh, it feels, I feel very at home here. Hey Tunisia, I'm pleased to meet you. For nearly a year, I've been waiting to meet you. What a wonderful treat to be invited here. The future of ELT to me is quite clear. Students far and near are learning from each other. Sisters and brothers, fathers and mothers. Look and you'll discover. Listen and you'll hear it. The gold is flowing with the fluency.